What's up guys, Ryan Nose Tech here from techinform.us and today we're back in Photoshop CS4 Extended for those of you who may be wondering again and we're, today we're going to take a look at the Magic Wand tool. Magic Wand tool is one of your select tools. There's many different tools in Photoshop to select. Uh, here you can see are the, are the, uh, the marquee tools, the lasso tools, and then below the lasso tool is your Magic Wand. Your Magic Wand is going to take uh, for example, let's say you want to take this apple off of this image uh, or vice versa. You want to take the black out of here and just keep the apple. Let's do that. Um, Magic Wand tool is really going to beat using other tools. It's just so much quicker. So right now, we'll just click that. And you're going to see it selects everything but this little area around the apple. Your backspace, all of that is gone. Now that didn't do a perfect job. So we're going to see if we can do a little bit better than that. Notice your tolerance up here in this bar. That's going to select how tolerant the tool is. Let's change that 32 to a 64 and see what happens. There you go. Got right around that apple. Look at that. Perfect. Hit back. It may not be perfect. If you zoom in you can see uh, the outer glow effect is still there but you could always go around that with uh, you could do a magic wand like that piece by piece but you're probably not as going to get as nice as results as if you did it uh, by hand, which of course is very tedious, but usually yields the best results. So there's your magic wand. That's pretty cool. Let's do a new layer, not new document, a uh, new layer, and we will drag this apple now over to the other layer. Or we'll uh, actually, no, no, that's, that's a stupid idea. Let's do this. Delete that layer. Open a new file. Here it is, Steve Jobs Weed, and now we'll just drag this onto the new document. Maybe. There it is. It's a little small, and as you can see, it's a little bit choppy, but we can make it bigger. It's going to go pixelated for a second. There you go, enter. We'll uh, fix that. Double click your layer to get some effects. We'll do another video on this later. Uh, how about we do uh, an outer glow? here of, of black. That'll kind of give it a, it'll kind of fade in a little bit better. Now change your blend mode to normal. I don't know why screen is always selected there. Uh, I don't know, something like that looks kind of cool. And there it is. So now you've given Steve Jobs weed a little bit of, uh, a little bit of apples for it. Apples for apples, there you go. Magic wand tool, pretty simple. Again, select your tolerance. That's one of the biggest things that you need to, uh, to learn with this tool. The more tolerant you make it, as in the lower number, uh, the harder it's going to be to get colors. The less tolerant you make it, the higher number, the uh, easier it's going to be if you have a high contrast document. If you have a lower contrast document, you're definitely going to want to go to a lower number. So if you have any Photoshop uh, tutorial requests or anything you'd like to know how to see or use, or um, see a basic tutorial like this on, leave a comment below. I'll definitely get to that this week. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like my videos. Our website is techinform.us. These links are below. My Twitter account is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. I'm trying to push out more updates and twit pics and all that information now. And then our live web show starts in four minutes, Tuesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. See you there or in uh, tomorrow's Wednesday's video. Bye-bye.